At a recent Coast Advisory Council meeting, there were a number of approvals. The governor and his advisory team approved proposals from the Financial Services Commission for outstanding financial service regulations. According to TCIG, these proposals include a provision for financial penalties in respect of disciplinary offenses under Section 45 of the Ordinance, regulations to clearly distinguish between the regulatory and administrative arms of the Commission, and an amendment to the trustees' regulations to show the change in responsibility from the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Finance, to the Commission. The Council also approved a request from the Integrity Commission for amendments to the Integrity Commission Ordinance to require, in the absence of a constituted Cabinet and House of Assembly, the members of the Advisory Council and Consultative Forum to be included as persons in public life and have them make declarations of their income, assets, and liabilities to the Commission. The Council also agreed to a proposed amendment for a tribunal of three persons as opposed to the current requirement of one to conduct investigation and two, the removal of a member of the Commission. The release of budgeted funds was also approved. The budgeted funds is for the Customs Department to acquire and roll out the upgraded web-based version of the Asakuda Customs Clearance System, which should make it easier for importers to handle clearance procedures. A number of recommendations from recent meetings of the Consultative Forum was also discussed. That meeting was also the last for Attorney General Kurt DeFreitas. The new Attorney General, Hugh Shepard, is expected to take office next month. For WIV4 News, I'm Takara Bain.